discussion. Now, more testing is also a really big part of the president's strategy. Expect to see new options starting next week. Here at home tonight, folks say they're waiting four or five days to get their COVID test results from Riceland Health. 12 News reporter Amelia White joins us. Amelia, have to say, what's the deal here? Jordan Dage, the high demand for COVID testing right now is causing delay in some folks getting their test results. I spoke with one woman who couldn't go back to work without proof of her status. Penny Walker works for a home health agency, so she's required to know her COVID-19 status. They said you have to get tested and have a negative before you can back to work. So she drove over to Bob Bauer Civic Center to get tested by Riceland Health. They said 24 to 72 hours. So um, to me, that meant I would probably have him by Monday. When Monday came around, she received no word on her test results. Instead, she was given a new time frame. So it, it might be Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'm like, well, I have to go back to work. Walker received her test results verbally, but not formally. Still haven't gotten an email or anything in paper over the phone, but my work wants the results, you know, in black and white. We sat down with Riceland Health Co-Chief Operating Officer Saad Jave to dig deeper into the cause of the delay. There was a, just a, a very um, large magnitude of the population that needed to get tested. Riceland is contracted with Jefferson County to run this month's free testing. Jave said they didn't expect such a high demand. I, I think we did not expect, uh, many of us didn't expect COVID to you know, re-intensify in our community. It, it really is. Um, a terrible situation. He says their testing policy has always been to call clients as opposed to emailing. But our priority is to make sure that we get in touch with those patients who are positive first. Walker hopes moving forward, Rison will be more upfront. They should have told me that it was going to be this long. Riceland Health is releasing a new COVID-19 hotline to possibly help with the delay in COVID testing results. That number will be available on their Facebook page by tomorrow. Amelia White, 12 News.